Hey there, it's me, Manatsuki Man. Today we're gonna be covering the MS-07 Zaku- This is no Zaku, boy! No Zaku! Sorry! The MS-07 goof! Gaff! I mean, goof! As the one-year war took the battlefield towards the ground, the Principality of Zeon began modifying variants of the Zaku-2 for specific use towards terrestrial combat. The MS-06J, Zaku-2, or J-Type Zaku, was an example of a strictly ground-use mobile suit. The J-Type Zaku-2 laid the foundation for the development of the YMS-07A prototype GUF. This prototype model was equipped with slightly more armor than the Zaku J-Type, and additional thrusters placed in the legs, increasing its ground speed by 30%. It was armed with the same optional weapons as the previous Zaku models, but had a larger shield with an angled surface to deflect potential close-range attacks. Two specific weapons were in development for the prototype GUF. The fixed mounted 75mm 5 barrel hand machine gun and a close range tentacle whip called the heat rod, which was used to stun internal components of mechanized weapons with high voltage electricity. Despite their rapid development, they were not produced in time for the prototype's test phase. In addition, for close range combat, an elongated heat sword was developed for the guff, giving it much more versatility and damage potential than the heat hawk. The prototype GUF had enough interest and support to begin mass production on a wide scale. In response, the MS-07A GUF, or A-Type GUF, was developed as a training mobile suit in preparation for pilots to shift from the Zaku to the GUF. The A-Type GUF was developed as a dumbed-down version of the prototype, arguably not acclimated for heavy combat. Only 32 of these units were produced, though a few would leak onto the battlefield. As soon as the new GUF armaments were complete, they were incorporated into the final prototype, the YMS-07B GUF. This unit would immediately be mass-produced as the MS-07B GUF, and placed into combat throughout multiple fronts on Earth. The GUF would finally see notoriety from its use by famed pilot and combat specialist Ramba Rao. This unit would eventually become the foot soldier for Xeon's Earth operations, spurring the development of countless variations. The MS-07 GUF will be prized by the Principality of Xeon for its strength, speed, and versatility, and feared by the Earth Federation for its stunning ability to bring the fight close up and personal. That's all for today, and I hope you enjoyed this show. If you find this topic interesting, look down at the links below. And as always, may the glory of victory be yours.